Hello, friends, family, strangers, enemies, welcome to my new video. And if you're new here, hi, I am Lex. Today, we are going over 15 ideas for villager neighborhoods. This is one of my most highly requested videos, just 24 seven. So I like to update it every few months or so. Here we are on the island of Whisker, starting off here. And I love this island because the concept that I really appreciate here is one, the scattered houses like they're not arranged in a super uh, strict format but also this inverted pathway so we've got actual game pathing underneath this custom design pathing so that the stone takes up this entire area and then there's grass overlaid on top of it I think it's beautiful this is such a nice way to decorate and it also kind of veils that the path the stone path can't go into the houses like you can see at the corners there's grass, but you can barely tell because of the grass custom design. It just looks amazing. And I think this is a really creative theme for a neighborhood. All of these vines, the greenery, the way it's spread out. It's just a really nice villager neighborhood. So what a strong start we have today. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Also shout out to this centerpiece where we just started the video. I think this bench is freaking adorable. Look at the little birds. This next neighborhood is very festive, very seasonally appropriate as we are just a few days from Christmas. And I think that this is so adorable. There are, I think, all but four of the houses here. So this neighborhood is six of the homes. At least I think so. We've seen four so far. But back here is the real view. Look at this overlook. Are you kidding? You've got the little well, I guess the huge ornament back there. It is so cute. I think this is so good. And I love the fence in use here. I think this is the park fence, but it's super cute. The red customization for it. And look, we are being greeted by Mrs. Claus. Never grow up. I wish that I could stay young forever. Look how precious this is, though. I love this theme that we've got going on on this island. And all of the yards just look amazing. What a lovely little neighborhood. We've also got the resident, or at least one of the resident homes right back here. So wanted to showcase this as it does bring the resident's home pretty close to the villager neighborhoods as well. It's just super colorful. I love the theme. I think the city aesthetic is really well done. And again, it is seasonally appropriate. Up next, we've got a very special, very unique theme. This is like a cardboard box sort of theme, like an abandoned kid core kind of aesthetic. And uh, these houses are on their own little floating islands. Despite how beautiful and unique this theme is, I do think that this kind of style of neighborhood would work for all kinds of themes, which is one reason I wanted to showcase it because how cool would it be to give your villagers their own little floating islands? I think it's adorable and super well done. Look at this, we've got Hopkins or whatever his name is, the inflatable villager. Wow. I also just love how colorful this is. Different colors for all of the different houses. I love the custom designs in use here. And yeah, floating islands. What a villager neighborhood idea. I think this little island is my favorite. Look at the mill. I cannot get over how beautiful this island is. I am making my way up to the very twisty, turny pathway to this neighborhood. There are six houses here arranged in a rainbow and the insides match. I think that this is so clever and just so pretty. Like what the heck is going on here? It's so nice. Let me show you the picture after I, after I look at all the houses. I'll show you the picture that the creator sent me that compares the exteriors to the interiors so that you can see how well they all match. Aren't these beautiful? Now look at the picture. How cool is this? And the fact that even the villagers themselves match, like, uh, stop. This is one of the cleverest neighborhood builds I've ever seen. And I love that they're just kind of like scattered about. It's a very natural, like foresty area. Even the plants match up with the houses. This is totally beautiful. Okay, walking around this island has been mind blowing, but here we are at the neighborhood. This, wow, hold on. This is a boating community, which I think is a really cute theme to have for your neighborhood. And around each of the houses, there are different little places. Like here's a book nook. Look at that. They have book club at 5 p.m. Excuse me, island resident. 
this one has little dog houses. Here's one of the residents herself, Ioni. And there's just different things around the neighborhood for the villagers to enjoy. I mean, look how cute this is. This little area right here, stop. This is adorable and of course it is beachside because it is a boating community. Let me go up to the next level too. I was dumb, I didn't see the incline that was over here. So the way to get up is right here behind that house that I loved so much. So we've got a little plant shop here. Are there three levels to this neighborhood? There are, there's more stuff up there. Look at this little lounging area. This is so beautiful. I personally would actually live here. What a lovely neighborhood. This one has a nice gold car. These people are very rich, these animals, I guess. I'm also loving the different color themes we've got going on with the houses. I don't know if the creator edited the houses, but I think they did because they all have this same house type, which is very good for a boating community. And then up here, there are more community things which is so smart and so sweet to do for your villagers, giving them, you know, little community spaces. Like, look at this. This could be like the clubhouse. Oh my gosh, it is so well done. All of the furniture is arranged so nicely. This is just a very satisfying neighborhood to walk through. And these colorful buildings, this is adorable. 12 out of 10 for this neighborhood idea. Okay, so this next neighborhood is a little bit different because it only has one villager house and I know this is supposed to be villager neighborhoods, but I loved this idea so much. They placed this villager neighborhood or this villager house with this resident house. Also there, are, oh my gosh, there is another villager house. So it counts. There are multiple villager houses, but I thought it was so cute how they arranged it with the island creator's house. It's so precious this way. I love the color scheme as well of yellow and red vibes. I just think this is so lovely. All of the furniture, the plants, the arrangement, and it's so cute to like have your villagers live right by your house as a way to incorporate not just villager homes, but also your home. And I think this is an easy idea to incorporate with, you know, more than just these two houses. You could put as many villager homes as you like over here and it would fit perfectly. Up next, we've got this beautiful spring core theme and look at this layered neighborhood. I love the way these houses are arranged. This is such a unique build as well. And they're all super accessible here with these inclines. All of these houses also belong to squirrels, which I think is so cute and so fitting for a spring core theme. Like, are you joking? But this is beautiful. Everything is arranged just gorgeously and Again, I love the furniture and the arrangement of the houses. This layering is just otherworldly. Let me get so you can see all of the houses at once. Isn't this so cool? And they're separated, they're all on different levels, and yet it still remains a little squirrel neighborhood. As we're running here, I just wanna mention that this is like the most beautiful time of day. Like the coloring on this island is amazing. But here we have four houses arranged around a centerpiece. The centerpiece here being a pergola. And I think it is so cute. The colors and everything here are amazing not just from the lighting the decisions made by this island creator were so pristine i think this neighborhood is so cute and it ends back here with these little storefronts which are adorable there i think this is a beautiful beautiful setup for the houses look at molly just chilling out walking around what a legend but yeah, I wanted to showcase a few different neighborhoods that use centerpieces like this, just because I think there are so many different ways that you can go about, you know, arranging homes around centerpieces. I want to showcase different kinds of ones that you can do. And this is one of them. Like I said, here is another situation with a centerpiece, this time a piano. And may I just say that this is one of the most gorgeous islands. I have, did I say gorgeous? Anyway, this island is phenomenal. It is beautiful. I love this theme. It is so bright and happy. The pink here is just gorgeous. I love these string lights. But yeah, these houses are arranged again, four different ones here around this piano centerpiece. And they do have, you know, little things in their yards, like this little table. I think this is beautiful. The pathway going through and leading further on. This is just a wild island. I... Love it here. Also, look at this little area just to the side. Are you kidding? They have a little community duck pond. Super romantic too. Look at the ducks. They're in love. Okay, this neighborhood is literally right around resident services. So I literally got out of bed and boom, I was here in the neighborhood. It is beautiful. I love this arrangement of houses. It's like 
a lot more rigid than some of the other islands we visited today. Like there are very straight roads. The pathway to each house is very clear and open. And I just love this theme that we've got going on again. All the villagers have different things in their yards that are really personalized. And I just think it's a very beautiful setup for your neighborhood, especially if you want to give your villagers a little bit of leniency. Like the houses aren't straight and narrow right beside each other or anything. They're pretty spread out, but they do have, you know, these nice straight roads that are easy to navigate and they each have their own little vibe around their home. So far, we've seen some centerpieces with just four homes. So I wanted to show off this one. There are six homes here. And so this is a bigger neighborhood. It has a bigger plaza area. The houses are a little bit more spaced out. So I think it's a very unique new idea. And I love the way the centerpiece is arranged. The symmetry is really nice. But again, all of these villagers have their own little thing going on. It's like they have their own small businesses. This is almost like a little marketplace commons for the villagers. So here we've got what looks like a pottery shop over here behind that excuse me punchy i'm so sorry king we've got like a fruit slash veggie import like these people are bringing in crops there's a little phone booth too this is so cute then we've got this huge bakery that's really lovely i love this custom design pathing here by the way then down here we've got a little pizza area a little pizza shop a pizzeria this third villager on the left has their own little clothing boutique. They might be a seamstress. Maybe this is where Mabel and Sable live. And over here, we've got a little magazine area and bike rental, which I think is super cute. It's almost like this is a tiny little library, a community library. But I think this neighborhood is lovely and so do the villagers obviously look at punchy having the time of his life okay up next we've got this other version of like a marketplace slash city plaza except there are houses behind these walls how cool is that and it's like that on both sides as you can see there are walls kind of separating off this like marketplace this canal area and then the houses are on the other side this is such a cool arrangement and you can walk through the little archways to get to the homes look at this little sign oh my gosh Again, it's got small business vibes. I think this is so adorable and it's really hard to fill space when you can't use like trees and things. So I think this creator was so creative with how they filled the market area, this like common plaza space. The way they arranged all the furniture, the symmetry here, everything is gorgeous. And this is also a Beauty and the Beast themed island, which is so cool just on its own. Also, this is a are you watching check. Tell me what you've been reading or watching lately. I've been reading or I'm about to start reading the Fruits Basket manga and I've been watching The Magicians. Look at this. This is a tree house neighborhood. Look at the little house up there. I love the attention to detail. The fact that the house itself is made out of logs. It's like a little log cabin. And there is another house over here making it a little tree house neighborhood. How precious. Why is that arch disappearing? Look at how cute this is. I think this is so creative and fun having multiple little tree house homes arranged in a little neighborhood. This is adorable and the theme is immaculate. These custom designs are lovely. Coming up on this next neighborhood, how cute is this? This is like a tropical city aesthetic and we've got these diagonal roads, which I think are really well arranged. Look at this house, so tropical and fun. I love this custom design, how the sidewalk kind of goes diagonally here. Very nice. And we've got a little dog too. The car on the road. Again, I really appreciate good attention to detail and I think we're definitely getting that here. Look at this. What a happy little tropical picnic area too. And I love that this is arranged at the back of the island. So the villagers do have an ocean view back here. Last but not least, we've got this absolutely gorgeous neighborhood. This has a semi-random arrangement of houses, I think, going on. And it is so beautiful. We've got a sort of round road here around which several houses are placed. We've even got this one down here. It's a very foresty neighborhood. This serves as a kind of centerpiece. And then you can go up the stairs here. Sorry, if there was a noise just then, my cat was biting my microphone anyway. Then we've got up here at the top of the stairs, these houses. I think this area especially is so beautiful. Just such a nice setup. This neighborhood aesthetic is amazing. I love this just island theme is really nice. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the resident house was here too. So anyway, what a beautiful idea. 
I hope you enjoyed these ideas, big and small, for villager neighborhoods on your island, and I hope you're inspired to make your own neighborhood soon. Thank you all so much for watching today, and I will see you tomorrow. This was day 21 of posting a video every day of December. Bye!